Josh Gordon is suspended for the entire 2014 season because the NFL has an outdated draconian embarrassment of a drug policy. Gordon's positive test for marijuana was 16 nanograms per milliliter, one more than the NFL's limit of 15, but his B sample was 13.6 nanograms per milliliter, which means that he's missing an entire season and about a million dollars because he lost a coin flip. Side note, the World Anti-Doping Agency's limit for marijuana is 10 times more permissive than the NFL's. Way to stick it to your employees. They had too many rights anyway. And for you brave defenders of the shield who are saying, well, he'd already failed tests before and he knew the rules, how about his two game suspension for cough syrup with codeine last year? How is that in any way equivalent to getting drunk and knocking out your fiance with an uppercut at a casino? Hey. NFL fans, just because something's a rule doesn't make it right. You're allowed to say, hey, this multi-billion dollar corporation is in the wrong. Because it is. Be a human. Side with your fellow humans. Hey, thanks for watching this SB Nation video. If you liked it, do us a solid and click that thumbs up button. And for more from SB Nation, subscribe to our channel. And while you're at it, how about watching one of these videos over here? Come on, what else are you doing today? Click it. Go.